Hey, Betty. Am I late? Hey, Mr. Kidd, how you doing? No, he's not here yet. Well, it must have been quite some effort for you to drag yourself out of bed this morning. Huh? Well, I'm feeling a lot better. Had a visit from a pretty good nurse. Oh. Well, it must have been some pretty good medicine, because Miss Lane said you were really ill. Well, you know, Jimmy, sometimes all you need is a little loving attention from the right person. Glad you're back, Clark. And uh, remember, I am covering Superman's press conference. Okay. All you do is tape reactions from the crowd, okay? Reactions, okay. Yeah. Oh, dear. Guess I need a tape recorder, huh? Be right back. <laughs> Same old Mr. Kent. He'll never change. I hope not. <laughs> How are you Jimmy? doing, Superman? Lois, good to see you again. Good to see you, too. Morning, gentlemen. Excuse me. Thank you. Well, once more, we've survived the threat of war and found a fragile peace. I thought I could give you all the gift of the freedom from war, but I was wrong. It's not mine to give. We're still a young planet. There's, There's galaxies, galaxies out, there out there and civilizations for us to learn from, a community of planets for us to join. What a brilliant future we could have. And there will be peace. There will be. When the people of this world want it so badly that our governments have no choice but to give it to us. I just wish you could all see the Earth the way that I see it. Because when you really look at it, far. it's just one world. My little Kalem, we will never leave you. Even in the face of our death. The richness of our lives shall be yours. All that I have, all that I've learned, everything I feel, all this and more, I... I bequeath you, my son. You will carry me inside you all the days of your life. You will make my strength your own. See my life through your eyes, as your life will be seen through mine. The son becomes the father, and the father the heart. 